I'm telling you right now. Just, just stop. I'm telling you. Don't play with me. I got it on me. Good Saturday morning, peeps. Good morning, good morning. I think it's still morning. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.30 a.m. Okay. Enjoy it's still morning. It's still a.m. I've just been in slow motion. I got up, took my shower, laid back across the bed, trying to map my day out in my head. I have all these plans to do a whole lot of things, but as I'm laying here, I'm looking at my brows. I think I need to give myself a slight touch up. I want them to be a little darker right in here. So we might touch up my brows today. And is that a gap? It might be a little gappy gap. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm going to do that more than likely. Give myself a brow touch up. My brows are micro shaded. I want them to be just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit darker. Though I like what I have. Just a smidget darker, just a smidget darker. Right in, you know, this area where there's no hair there. Just just the pigment and skin. I just want that to be a little darker. We'll see how that turns out. We'll give that a go today. Um, I took off my nails that I was wearing for three weeks and not a single one popped off. But I have better luck with the shorter nails because they're not as um, stressed at the length. So you're less inclined to pop them off. But girl, they stayed on my fingers for three whole weeks. So my nail beds are prepped and primed for new nails. I did buy some nails yesterday. But I love the ones that I bought. I went to the Dollar General and bought me an assortment of nails. But now I'm wanting some long, blingy bling ones. Though I have some in my collection. But I'm just not ready to wear those yet. So we may swing by the Dollar General and just take another look at the nails before I select for mine. But I'll show you the ones that I have currently in my collection and show you what I got. But I want something else, I think. So yeah. So I'm about to get up and throw something on, throw my wig on. We'll head into town. Uh, I do want to go to Trader Joe's just for flowers. That's like the only thing I buy in Trader Joe's is the flowers. I've walked around it a few times. And the wine sometimes. Sometimes I do pick up a few bottles of their wine because it is nice and cheap, but some of that cheap stuff just don't be tasting good. So I think that's why I haven't bought any, any wine from there in a while, because that's like headache in a bottle for me. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this is my nail drawer. This is where I keep all of my packs of press-ons. I have some cute ones. These are um, a set that I picked up yesterday from the Dollar General. I thought these were super cute. These are like some of my all-time favorites right here. Love, love, love these. I'll be ordering these from Walmart, but they have these in store. These are in store at Walmart. These are my everyday cuties right here. I wore these for three weeks straight. I always get to wear these three weeks straight at a time. These are the toenails. I have yet to do the toenails. I just have them. I haven't done those yet, so I have them. Oh, are they the same? Two different packs. But both by Kiss. This one looks a little more peachy than this one. Yeah, okay, that one's probably peach, and this one does say pink. But those are the toenails. I don't put on the toenails that often. And these right here are my favorites, too. I love this nude. Um, mauve pink color so pretty on but i wanted to wear some blinky bling style nails but this one's just this one right here this set this one's just a little too elaborate i feel like these should be reserved for like um special occasions birthdays new year's eve that type of thing it's like holiday nails celebratory nails so i'm not gonna put those on just yet though these are really cute um, both of these packs are from um, the beauty supply store. So they have these type of kiss nails, the Masterpiece Collection. 
at the beauty supply. Meanwhile, you found the regular ones at Dollar General and Walmart. This is a good summer color, though. I don't go for that more um, into June and July, that bright yellow. These are cute. Goldfinger is a part of the Kiss brand as well. But yeah, this is like my nail drawer. All things nails in here. But I don't know. We'll probably just swing by Dollar General and see what they got. Because I do want to do me a set. Okay? Do me a set of nails. I think I was leaning towards these, though. This is initially what I bought and said I want. Because I'd opened them up and said, okay, we're going to do these. I do like these. These are translucent pink jelly nails. I don't know. But I like these. I really do. They 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 give me that nudie vibe. But I just want a little bling on them. I want some bling nails. I Because I hadn't had bling in a while. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed because it is freezing in my apartment. I'm trying to keep it cold because it's that time of year. That weird time where if you don't keep it as cold as you can, you get these little flies. It's like little tiny gnats or fruit flies. But so far, so good. I've been doing a good job with keeping it as cold as I can stand it in here. And you don't get those little flies. Because, girl, those things, they come in here and take over. And we ain't got time for that this year. But so far, so good. I've probably seen maybe one or two. And that is it. Thank you, Jesus. Because, girl, that shit is so annoying. All right, so this is the look for the day. I just threw on this um, thin sweater-like dress. Yeah, it's like a sweater, but it's like super thin, though. And I do like to wear these in my apartment when it's kind of cool like this. But we're just going to Trader Joe's. Maybe pick up some food while we're out. I don't know. Um, no makeup. Put my Angie wig back on from Y Wigs. I am loving this bob. It is so cute. The cut on it is everything. You don't know. I got my little flip out going. I think this hair is just so cute. If you haven't seen that review, girl, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and check that out. This wig is everything. This is my first real um, human hair bob. I've had synthetic bobs, but they just don't compare to a good human hair bob. This one is just everything. I am loving it. But I'm going to go ahead and throw me some oil on the legs and some shoes. Oh, yeah, I got to change purses. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Pick a bag, and we are out the door. Okay, right now, I'm giving this combination a try right now. Without aluminum, it's a spray deodorant and awesome blossom. Smells pretty good. I'm feeling it. They were super affordable, a little more affordable than the Dove dry sprays. Of course, I mean, it's suave. I did get these from Walmart. They smell pretty good. Um, I like it. It has a nice floral-like scent to it. It's cute. It's a cute smell. This is where we pick out our bag and a pair of shoes. I think I'm going to go with my um, Louis slides. And normally I would go with that. That's like my favorite summertime bag. But we're going to go with Teddy Blake today. All right, so we're going to go with our Teddy Blake New York bag today. And I'm going with this one because, you know what? This one matches my dress a bit. So, I like to be matchy-matchy sometimes. I think that is so cute. But let me show you this bag. I've shared this with you before. Of course, right here on my channel. But look at this. OMG. And this will be my first time carrying this bag since I got it. I picked it because it was a beautiful spring and summer color. So we're going to go ahead and give her a go today. Absolutely beautiful bag. This is my second Teddy Blake bag ever. They're Italian leather handbags, girl. So you're getting designer-esque feels at affordable prices. So be sure to check out Teddy Blake as they are having this semi-annual sale right now. Everything's up to 75% off. 75% off for genuine Italian leather handbags. Ah, you can't beat it. But this bag is so, so cute. It gives all the looks, vibes. I love it. But you'll get a, a better look of my whole look in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start putting my stuff in it. Because the current bag 
that I'm carrying is like a tote style bag. So it has quite a few things in it that I know I'm not going to need for the day. So we're going to go ahead and um, change over and eliminate some things because we're not going to carry all this stuff around when we don't have to on our off days. But yeah, look at Teddy Blake. She's beautiful. All right, so here's the look. Teddy Blake, okay. My Louis slide, super duper cute. So cute. This bag is everything. So, so cute. I still hadn't put my stuff in it though, but yeah. Loving the bag. Yeah, but this is the bag I was currently carrying, okay. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take some of this stuff out and put it into my Teddy Blake. Girl, this bag is just so cute. I'm so excited to carry it today. So cute. I got a million billion SLGs that I carry around my agendas, both my PM and my MM. My card holder, well, this is more like the card wallet than I have the actual card holder. Uh, for my most reach for cards here and all of my cards are here. I gotta have my AirPods. So those are going in the bag. Going nicely in. Even though it's just a lip gloss day and I know I have lip gloss in this. This is a little Fendi pouch that um, I think this came with like some perfume or something in it. But it was still cute. So I've always used it as my little makeup pouch. Sometimes when you buy designer perfumes, you get all those cute little things. Oh, here's that other pack of nails. I, say, I knew I bought another pack yesterday um, from the DG. These are so cute. Look, they have like pink and purple and magenta tips on them. So cute. Let's just set those to the side. I don't know. We might do those. We'll take our car charger. This normally is kept in the car. But I'll take it in to work. Um, hand lotion. We'll grab that. Definitely need the keys. Oh, this is the the gloss I, I normally wear. This is my Chanel one. This is like a nude glossy lipstick. It is so cute. It's just real nude and sheer and moisturizing. I love this. Love, love, love this one. One of my favorites. And I think that is all we need. I do have a rollerball. And this is Red Temptation from Zara. It's supposed to smell like uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. I mean, it's real close, but it ain't Baccarat. This, more, this has more of a alcohol is sent to it but it still smells really good i gotta give it that it's nice oh it smells good we'll stick that in there we'll take a few of these goodie powders even though we're not going far i shouldn't have a headache but still i like to be prepared but yeah that is oh we need this girl do you remember i showed you guys this um like a day or two ago this is that taser that I found. Just I don't even know how I found how I fell down this rabbit hole. But girl, this taser, look at this. It's so cute. I bought another one yesterday. I, I thought this was a good idea to keep this in the purse and have a second one to keep in the car. But let me show you how it works. But first, this is how you charge it with this little thingy here. You just push this little prong, and then these little charging prongs come out. You pull this little prong forward. Then for it comes the charging prongs, pull it back. So nice, so you don't have to keep up with cords and chargers. It has everything you need built in. Okay, if you push this up one time, you got a flashlight. You got a flashlight to see who's lurking in the corners. You got a flashlight. One more time up, push it all the way up, girl. You are ready, you, you, you can be like, um, Leon, stop. I told you. Go on now. Go on about your business. I told you to stop. Stop. And when he don't stop, then you just zap him a bit. Now, I don't know how long you, you keep it on the body. 
but I, I feel like the way this sound, this is, this is strong enough to immobilize. Like, like we in there, we got them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this, this will put them on their ass for a minute. They might be mad when they get up, but they definitely gonna know that you meant stop. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty nice. And it was only what, like 10 bucks? They're like $8.99, $10.99. I think this one was $10.99. My second one that I ordered um, in magenta, it was either $8.99 or $9.99. But nonetheless, you know what looks out for you. I'll have the links and everything down below, as well as all the information for my Teddy Blake bag. All of that will be down below too. So make sure you grab one of these because when you grab your Teddy Blake, you're going to need one of these tasers in your bag, okay? You need to. We out here protecting ourselves. I just walked by the mirror. Y'all wanna go tell me? I still had the tag hanging on my dress. I just opened this too because I got so much stuff to review. But this is from filmlux.com. They send me a few cute things from time to time to post on my blog. But this is one of their cute little sweater dresses. I often um pick out these type of things for them because they just Cute and easy to just throw on and just hang out in the house. I know they just hang out and this type of stuff. But there's nothing wrong with going out in it. Like, I'm finna go to Trader Joe's in it today. Like I said, this is like a thin, super thin sweater-like material. I think it's real cute for spring and going into the fall months, okay? But like I said, it's chilly in here. So that's why I walk around in it. Because when I do invite over a suitor, if I'm sitting around, this looks cute. You know what I mean? This is something cute to throw on. Like, oh, this whole thing. Oh, you know, I just threw something on. <laughs> Those are the vibes. You know the vibes. But yeah, let's go ahead and head out. I don't. I have sunglasses in the car. So I think we're good. y'all it is friday that means my show comes on tonight p valley so i'm trying to figure out the mood for tonight do i really want to cook something do i want to go to dinner do i just want to pick something up now while i'm out then come back and watch my show i don't know i don't know what i want to do because if i pick something up i'm going into the city i always have to grab some wings from a town wings so that's what i think I'm gonna do I don't know but if I come back here and go to dinner I probably end up at the Outback or either um Lone Corn but I haven't had chilies in a while I've been thinking about chilies so I don't know what the move is we'll see but I definitely don't really feel like cooking anything I can tell you that now I probably ain't gonna cook anything i'm gonna wash the couple of dishes i got in my sink clean it up and let that just stay clean for the week but i don't know we'll see we'll see but right now we're headed into the city all right so we just pulled into the area of trader joe's just eat over here this is twin peaks i like their quesadillas the chicken wings are hit or miss sometimes they're good sometimes they're just a little too clicky for me i like my wings fried hard i don't want them to, to feel and taste fleshy i don't like that <laughs> i don't want to feel like my chicken finna bite me back i can't stand that but yeah this is the Trader Joe area. Let's go in here and see what kind of flowers they got for us today. There's a lot of people over here. Only because it just seems a little packed. It just seems a little packed. And COVID seems to be running rampant again. 
I know quite a few people that have COVID right now. So I, I don't feel like going through that. I don't I don't want to be sick right now. So we're going to put our mask on and go ahead and check on these flowers. We're going to see about these flowers. Okay. I would. Excuse me. Okay, how cute is this area? Let me cut off my air conditioning so you can hear me. The murals are so beautiful. This is Wahlburgers. I've never had that, but I'm not in a mood for a burger right now. Okay, so the parking is very different here. I want to go into, I don't know. I want to try the boba tea and I want to do this ramen place right here. So if I can just get parts, this would be great. They'll let me. I think I have to back into these spaces. Having this camera, girl, this is just bomb. I just whipped it in here it so good. I love having this parking camera. So we're gonna do both Kung Fu tea and this ramen place. This will be my first time going in both of them. This is so cute, guys. Girl, it is a vibe here. The music is good. Nice, I can't wait to try this food. Go ahead and finish my shrimp first, though. That was so good. So good. That's going to be it. No, no, that's it. I can't wait to see what this tastes like. 
I'm always seeing this on Instagram and other um, YouTubers trying this. Hopefully it's good. Okay, so I got Kung Fu tea with coffee popping bubbles inside. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what it tastes like. Okay, first off, the straw is big as hell. It is super wide, I guess, so you can suck some of these little bubbles through it. <laughs> let's try it. Milk tea. Mm. And I just had one of the little bubbles to burst. And it definitely tastes like coffee. It tastes like an iced coffee. Okay. I can definitely get jiggy with this. I can get down with this. I like it. So I'm back home. I'm going to grab a couple of these cute vases for the flowers clear um vase selection is kind of basic i don't have really too many super cute ones but these are going to go one of these are going to go in the bedroom Right, so I'm just admiring the flowers. Fresh flowers are definitely a, a vibe. Though, though I'm sitting here looking at those. I really like the way that looks. I'm thinking about getting some um, silk flowers like these over here. But to keep over there. I wish though I would have got some roses in here. That would have been nice. This is my first time getting those type of flowers. with those hydrangeas? My first time getting those. Those are already kind of a bit wilty because I guess it was a kind of you know warm in the car when I went into the restaurant to eat but nonetheless they're still cute I just should have got roses but I like them but I'm gonna browse Amazon and see if I can find some cute silk flowers like those to put over there and like that off-white color but I like those I've seen some cute tulips that a lot of the amazon home decor bloggers have been featuring i do like those so maybe i'll try those um i did order that sheet set that i shared with you in the community it was like 50 percent off they were 39.99 then with the instant coupon i'm making them 50 percent off those should arrive on monday for me if i order things on wednesday i never get them by the weekend here it always has to be Monday or Tuesday for me. Amazon Prime isn't very primey for me these days. Um, but my sister, she can order stuff today and get it tomorrow. Because I guess because they have an Amazon Fulfillment Center there in her uh, famil f f f fulfillment center um, in her city. But I feel like we have one too. But I guess they just not stocks. They don't have everything in there. But yeah, it'll be monday before i get those sheets so i'm ready to refresh my bed um i kind of want something different on the bed but then again i don't because i love the set that i have diamond hates the diamond set is old ladyish but i like my damask print i do i think it's just easy now the pillows i, I ain't even gonna lie to you i can really do without a lot of those fur pillows but it's just what i got i just rather put my money elsewhere 
than into the bed. But I do want to do um, a bed refresh soon. I'm starting with the sheets and then as I find, I'm not just actively looking for new bedding, but should I come across something, I'm definitely open to buying it. But as of right now, girl, I ain't still in the bed. But the sheets were a must. I can't wait to get those. They, they were um a six piece set. I don't know if that link is still active, but I'll have it down below so that you can check it out if you're in the market for new sheets. I just thought it was an awesome buy. Uh, 20 it would have been like 20 bucks for a six piece set four pillowcases your flat sheet and your um your fitted sheet just thought that was a good buy and it was a decent thread count too so y'all know i love a good deal so i think i'm in for the rest of the day if i do get something else to eat i'll probably order in but i doubt that i will order something i'll probably just eat and snack on stuff i have here but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna pull out the pajamas. Um, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 3.26 p.m. Oh, it's still early. It's just 3.26. I still think I'm gonna relax though. I probably put my pajamas back on and watch some TV and edit some stuff and get some videos ready to go up for the weekend work on this one i'm gonna have a ton of more um uh, ton more what do you call it? wig reviews for you i got some try ons i got a gang of stuff still down here that i need to open and try on for you but that's all i got going on today i'm literally just gonna relax and take it easy get ready for p valley y'all know how i feel about p valley See what kind of moves they're going to teach me today and practice my moves while I watch it because I'm seriously going to quit my job here soon so I can pursue my stripping career. I don't know, y'all. I might take this show on the road. I don't know. Y'all going to come see me strip. <laughs> anyway, make sure you check out the description box to check out the semi-annual sale or Teddy Blake, all kinds of styles, cute bags, Italian leather girl designer at affordable prices. Check out those links. Definitely get you a stun gun, a taser, if you will, uh, for your bag. You definitely need one of those in your bag, okay? Definitely. And one in the car. If you can afford to go ahead and get two, these are so cheap. I know that you're going you're gonna to get two. You'll get one to keep in your purse and then keep one in the car. Because, you know, it is, you can justify this because it is a flashlight. I feel like everybody needs a flashlight in the car. I don't know what could happen. You might need to get out and look for something. You might need to go pop the trunk. Now, I don't know what you got in your trunk, but you might need to walk back there. It could be dark. Turn your little flashlight on on your taser as you walk to the trunk. Then you might have that one weirdo that wants to pull over and ask you if you need help. And as he gets closer, you got it on you. You got your taste, okay? Go ahead and, and handle business. Just handle your business, sis. So you definitely need one of those. Um, yeah, but yeah, I really do enjoy sharing these Amazon finds with you. And I don't even know how I be falling down the rabbit hole. I don't even know what made me even look for a taser. Uh, it might have just popped up, you know, in some of those suggested things. That's probably how I found it. I don't even know, girl. <laughs> but I am happy I have it. I'm I'm really happy about that. But yeah, that is pretty much all I got going on today. I'm probably going to rest. Oh, let me show you this. I've had this very bag before. Um, I carried it on a trip to Vegas in an old vlog. That was before y'all cared about watching my little vloggy vlogs. But yeah, that was like the worst trip to vegas i ever had it was fun but it was just i think it was just the company i kept on the vlog making it you know less than favorable revisit the disco um the soho disco bag by gucci i absolutely love this bag girl just taking it out of his dust bag just now the leather oh my god i just want to chew this tassel i'm gonna end up chewing this tassel up y'all know i love the way leather smells, it just makes me want to eat it up. But I absolutely love this bag. I don't know what made me get rid of my last one. 
but I did. I did. But now I had it back. I couldn't stop thinking Shout about it. Shout out to the young lady who got it from me. I hope you're still enjoying that bag because I absolutely missed it all these years. I have missed that bag, but I have it again now. This is like the ultimate crossbody bag. It is gorgeous. It, it fits quite a bit of things. I absolutely love it. So cute. My next item on my luxury wish list that I want, I want though, they're calling them Gucci Crocs, but they're like a Gucci mule, uh, but they're rubber made on the croc kind of style, but they kind of have a platform like heel them. You can get them in flats and you can get the platform heel. I'm definitely leaning towards getting those because they are up there in price, but it's not like break the bank. So I'm definitely going to get those next. I definitely want those going into the fall. Though I can wear those in the summer because they're like a perforated um, Gucci logo, mule style, croc, sandal vibe. That they're, they're so cute. But you can get away with them in the spring, summer, and fall. I definitely got to have them. I was torn between getting them in like that beigey color. But now that I got my little black crossbody back in my life i'm thinking about just go ahead and getting them in in black i think that'll be a vibe because i can style them in so many ways so i think i am gonna go ahead and get those soon i'm gonna go ahead and splurge and get those just in case you don't know what i'm talking about i'll probably put a picture of them here on the screen so you can see what i'm talking about but i definitely want those and if i like the black ones i might get the beige ones just to go with my um traditional gucci print bags but yeah like i said i don't have many designer shoes and i wanted to start um kind of like a designer shoe collection but as i think about it i don't i'm more of a bag person i don't have a whole bunch of shoes as it is though i just love handbags and accessories but i absolutely need some cute shoes to be styling with my things i feel like it'd be easier to style things if you had likable likable things in your collection you got you put you, sh you should actually like everything in your collection so that's what i'm trying to do curate a collection that i just love and things that i would just love to wear because i would love to get into wearing all of my things and styling my bags because i know i have quite a few that i've sent on in them i've never touched them i just saw them because they was pretty got it and never carried it i'm, I'm just that way but most definitely what's that approaching my door but yeah i most definitely i'm going to order the gucci mules but yeah that's going to be next as it pertains to like a looks item. All right, girl, I've gotten comfortable. We got our bonnet on. We got our pajamas on. I am relaxing, getting ready for my show in a minute. I think I'm going to go ahead and pour me a drink and call it a night, girl. I think we're going to end this vlog here. But let me know down below in the comments area, should we make this a thing where I vlog on Fridays and Saturdays, making it two vlogs on the weekend, or do you just want one weekly vlog? I don't know. I don't know if, it's, if a schedule is my thing or not. Or do we just want impromptu vlogs the way I've been doing it? But just let me know down below in the comments what you'd rather see me do on this channel. I'd like to get your input. But until next time, I will see you in my next video. And there will definitely be another video. Bye! And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Bye!